Hola, hello. My name is Alejandra Diaz Roman and I am a visual artist. I am Mexican, I was born in Mexico City and I moved to Canada 21 years ago. I work with paper mache, with paper, and I make alebrijes. I am an alebrija maker. Alebrijes are these uh, fantastic creatures that are created out of parts of different animals or creatures. Their story is very interesting and it started many, many years ago in Mexico when Don Pedro Linares fell sick. He was an, a, a piñata maker, he worked with paper mache, and when he was sick, he had to, he was sleeping for a long time. When he got better and woke up, he told his sons that he had a dream where he saw these fantastic creatures that had maybe the head of a donkey and the, and, the, and the body of a butterfly or something like that, very, very strange. When he was better, he decided to start making them out of paper mache and he became very well known in Mexico for his alebrijes. Now in Winnipeg, I, I work in a, a schools teaching students the art of alebrijes and bringing my Mexican culture to, their, to them. Recently, I self-published my first children's book, Life Values for You, exploring how many cultures in the, in the world have given animals certain characteristics and values. These values and hopes come in the, in the shape of gifts, special gifts that parents, caregivers, foster parents, and anybody that has a special child can give to them. Another piece of our culture in Mexico is the papel picado banners. Uh, papel picado like literally means punch or perforated paper and it is made by piling about 30 to 50 sheets of paper and literally with chisels and mallets cut different and it indicated the signs of the different shapes. We use papel picado in Mexico for many, many of our festivities from Christmas to birthdays to christenings to baptisms to the Day of the Dead, which is a very important um, holiday in Mexico. We use papel picado to decorate. Um, its history goes back to the Aztec times. Uh, in the 1800s, people in Mexico had the first access to tissue paper, and instead of using bark, they started using paper to create these, um, these banners and decorations for, for uh, our parties. Let's make a papel picado. Okay, uh, to make papel picado, all what you need, like this is another way to make, make papel picado, and all what you need is a sheet of tissue paper, some scissors, and twine. And the process is very simple, and just by folding our paper, We can fold it in half, we can both fold it again in half, and one more time in half. And we're going to cut at the end, maybe the, the shape of our little scallop. That would, mean, would be the end of the skirt of our papel picado. By folding it again, we're going to fold it this way now, and we're going to fold it in the center, in half, and now we're going to start folding it almost like in pie slices, and when we have a shape like this, now we're going to cut smaller shapes that are going to create a nice design in our papel picado. Being careful not to cut something too close to the edge. And now we have a papel picado banner that is ready to be hung and decorated. And if you want to learn to make a papel picado, we are very lucky that the Mexican Association is putting a workshop on how to make papel picado. I'll be teaching that workshop on September 25th and 26th 
and for more information just go to the uh, Mexican Association, Association website Mexican or the Facebook uh, page.